So Allah says, the, the slaves of the most merciful. Who are they? Alladheena yamshuna ala al-ardi hawna. Describing how they walk, imagine. Which religion tells you how to walk? Tell me. Nothing, besides Islam. Islam tells you, you walk with humility. So neither do you stamp your feet, nor are you tiptoeing, nor are you rushing so that you bump into people, nor are you so slow that everyone thinks you are loitering. Look at the balance of Islam. You will walk with respect, you hold your head in a proper manner, you don't lift your nose up in the air as though you are a proud Jabbar, you know, someone who is arrogant and they are walking. Sometimes these people, they are walking as though they, they own the, that air wave, which is one inch higher than everybody else's. Don't worry, the air is not going to be filtered for you if you do that. So we need to know, a true mu'min walks with humility and humbleness. They respect themselves. If you respect yourself, others will respect you. When you do not respect yourself, you, no one will respect you. So if you are dressed appropriately, you are walking appropriately. You know, nowadays we have a sickness. I have not yet seen it, alhamdulillah, in this country. But I have seen it in many countries. You find young people, you know, the boys and the girls, but more the boys also. They wear something, a trouser, which is halfway down the backside. Halfway down the, and they are walking. Is that humility? Is that a Muslim? Is that the quality of the slave of Allah? Allah says, you walk with humility, respect yourself. When you are walking, you can't have these half bummers which are halfway down your backside. That won't work. You need to wear proper clothing. You know, the clothing we have, we are lucky. Islam does not force you to wear a specific clothing color or a specific clothing, maybe material and so on. It has set for you a framework. It has set rules and regulations for as long as you are inside that framework, you are okay. So don't come out of it. Which means today what we are wearing, mashallah, it's good dress. But if someone, for example, wants to come out and put something which is halfway down the backside, as we said, now they are coming out of that, out of that framework. So we need to know we walk with humility, with humbleness. Also, when we are walking, what will happen? We will meet people. We will see people on the road, we will see them on the street. As I said, we will respect one another and we will respect ourselves to start with. If a person has a bottle and they are drinking and they are shouting at everybody else, you know how they talk with half the eyes, like one eye is this way and one eye is the other way and they're looking at you. They are not respecting themselves. So automatically, no one will respect them. If they tell you something, they, nobody's going to take it seriously. Because look at what happens. This is why the very next verse, the first verse, Allah describes your walking. 